Hello everybody! Welcome to my channel and welcome to Monday. I was trying to see. I've lost track of days because I missed yesterday. What is today? Today is day 72 of the 100 day challenge. Again today I'm going to try to make some elements for my swap journal. I want to make a couple belly bands and a couple uh, side tucks. Um, so hopefully this will be less painful than what my video turned out to be on Saturday. Um, I missed yesterday. Yesterday, as you know, I've mentioned before, was my birthday. And kids and grandkids here in Rhode Island all came over. And it was a very busy but a wonderful day. So I did not get to a video yesterday. And... Um, was completely exhausted by the time everybody left. Um, the house was full of little babies. Well, a two-year-old, let me see, a one-year-old, well, a four-month-old, a one-year-old, a two-year-old, an eight-year-old, and an eleven-year-old were all here, besides the four parents, but um, it was wonderful. We haven't been around any of them for a while because of our dog situation and felt like it was a good test for her. Um, but she did remarkable and it was awesome. So they left and I'll tell you, I was in bed by 7.30. I'm not exaggerating and I thought just to lay down, but I passed out. I know I didn't see 8 o'clock. So it was a wonderful day. So with that being said, I'm just going to try to get right to this. I think I'm going to start with, let me start my timer there. Um, some background. Pieces. And try to work my way through this sort of rapidly, hopefully. But anyway, I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Saturday here was just gorgeous. I wish we would have done the gathering on Saturday because we would have been able to be outside, you know. But um, nonetheless, Yesterday was, it didn't rain or anything. It was just gray, no sun the whole day, you know. Well, I tore that and I'll tear it this way. But it was fabulous and the food was delicious. Hard to believe, like things that two-year-olds and one-year-olds are already doing and I'll tell you, our four-month-old grandson, he is the best baby I think I've ever witnessed. That child did not make a noise <laughs> the whole time he was here. He, he um, played with his little, I don't know what you call it, um, you know where they lay and the little um, rattles and things hang down? That baby was just... Every time you looked at him, he just smiled and talked, and he, he's something. We feel very, very blessed. Very blessed. Be so fortunate. Then we have three more, but they're in Ohio. But, you know, we were talking last night. It's like, how, how fortunate are we to have, you know, eight grandchildren and all of them be so beautiful and so healthy? you know, makes us feel very, very fortunate. And starting here, and I'll just wrap that around the edge. I think these two will be my um, side tucks. I'll start with them and then move on to the belly bands, I think. Yeah, I'll use some of this. I just want to cover it. I'm going to use some other papers, I think, but I just wanted to get a background going here. Tuck 
talked to my husband a little while ago and he said he's just exhausted. <laughs> Poor Bill, he has to work. And I know our dog Mo is, she is, she passed out once everybody left and I don't think that dog, well, she woke up a couple times, but just to eat this morning and um, haven't heard from her since. She's wiped out. It was a big day for her. Big day. But she loves the grandbabies, that's for sure. We're very fortunate that way, too, that our dog loves kids. And actually, she got to see the baby, the four-month-old, Benjamin, got to see him for the first time ever. So it was sort of cute. Sort of cute. Oh. I'm just trying to do this without thinking or giving it a lot of thought because normally that's where my struggles start is when I start trying to think everything out you know I was going through this journal this morning to see like where I was with as far as pockets and tucks, that type of thing. And I'm not doing too bad, quite honestly. I think the requirement, what did I do with that? Yeah, I moved things around and then I... Yeah, I think you only had to have a total of like five pockets and tucks or something like that. And I've surpassed that. I knew I would, especially for the size journal that it was, but my problem with making journals is I go through and I, for some reason as I'm making them, I feel like I have to have something on every page. And I've been trying to pull back from doing that because I sort of feel like the recipient of the journal, they should you know, be able to add their touches, you know. So I've been trying to back off from doing that. And it's hard. Alright, I need something there and there, definitely. Let's see. I'm going to do maybe some pinks. tell you, I just love this paper. You probably noticed that. I use it, feels like, in every single project I do. But I absolutely love it. Our eight-year-old grandson has his first ball game of the season, baseball game tonight, and I don't know if he's going to be able to, they're going to be able to have that or not, because we're supposed to have 80% chance of rain, and it's not raining yet, but boy, it's it's cold out because we've been so spoiled with the um, the warmer weather, you know. Now we're somewhere mid-40s, 50 at the highest today, 
and it certainly feels colder than that to me out there but let me move that over there I just want to see I might want to add well I've got a couple things sitting here next to me I got my bin which I sort of cleaned out a little bit I do want to add some I think a little bit of fabric or muslin some of this linen. I love this linen right here. Try to find a spot that I want it. Right there. That's a good spot. Sort of like it up there. And some muslin here. I'll just put them down. And I'm going to stitch around these things. I'm trying to think. These are my. I won't. Whoop. Maybe I should use a little bit of this. I know I'm going to stitch around the edge, but I don't think on the um, side tucks that I'll be stitching down the middle, I don't think. So I want to be sure to bring this down. And then I'm going to add some ephemera pieces I think to these as well. Well I call it ephemera pieces but some more embellishments. How about that? So those are going to be my belly bands there which will be more alright so I want to move these papers back over here for a second. Out of the way. Gosh, sorry about that. I just realized that I was too far down. Let's see, let's see. I'm just gonna grab here. And I'm just gonna add some random things. And I don't know if I'll use that or not. know if butterflies will have a home here or not. Here's a clean that out. I just want to grab a bunch of stuff out of here and smaller pieces. See what I can come up with. Let me just get a whole bunch out here so I'll really be confused. I don't want to be. I know that. I do want some round, I think. Bring that out. Put this aside and see if I can come up with anything with this stuff here. That butterfly might be too much for me. Maybe. I just sort of want to just sort of want to really want the bees I don't know why because none of this will make sense anyway Be 
be a good spot. No. I do have buttons and things here, but I don't think I want those on. or my side tucks. Let's move over to this one since I'm having problems with that one. It's too white. That might be too red. I think these all sort of take on a different look once they're stitched and actually in the book and I don't know if I like that or not so I'll keep playing here. It might be a little bit too wide. Reach back in here. Let's grab out some more. <coughs> I like I like the round elements, which is surprising to me because I struggle with so many things. I'm going to grab those out, but I do like the, the round elements. All this stuff, all this stuff. And I continue to buy more and more and more and more. And I go to do something and I can't make a decision. It's sort of frustrating to me. These are bigger pieces. I have to sort through this stuff. I really do. I keep saying that. This morning I came in here and I was starting to organize some things and I'm like I really want to get some things done on this journal. I know I only missed yesterday quite honestly in the craft room but it feels like I'm falling behind on this and I don't want to do that. It'll be too big. Look in here, I have some things I have had in this box for years. Years, I'm telling you. Don't really want to go down the photo. Alright. Let's see, what can I put on here? Well, 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 I feel like I need some color up here. Maybe that'll help me some. all out. I'm just going to glue this down. Put my glue book away. That 
is truly a mystery. Oh. Only imagine the pile I already have already. My desk was pretty clean starting. And you craft, do you have an idea of what you want to do? Or do you just go with your gut and whatever feels right at the time? I, use, I find that if I have an idea in my head, it usually takes on a different, a different direction for some reason. I feel like I need something down there, maybe other than just did and then it won't satisfy me with that look all right down there oh, this just frustrates me so bad when I fiddle don't like that it's too big Oh, I do have some. It just reminded me I have some stamps. I wonder if I should bring a stamp into the mix. Green, I thought I had. Put George up there. Sheila, leave it alone. Okay. I don't think I want that down there after all. I have tons of tags out or tickets. this one alone for a minute. Go over to this one, see what I can do. Definitely feel like I'm just going to do that right there. For some reason, I'm having problems with my hands going numb. Too small. I feel like 
least that's the same color. Let me put a, I'm going to need something up here. I can tell that already. Nope, I already have that. So I feel like that butterfly is a little bit too much. There were some smaller of these wallpaper flowers. Sorry that I struggle the way I do. I really am. But this is this is truly what happens when I sit down to craft. <laughs> this struggle is real. <laughs> Just so that when I come back, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. I think I'm going to hook that there. I'll be right back. Okay. I went ahead and glued this little flower here down. And you know what? I don't want it there. So I am going to stitch around the edge of that. Um, I feel like I need something up in here. And something down there. I want to try to do this quick because I really like to get my butterflies right in here. I just want something small. I wonder about, oh, you know what, I it goes here. This is very frustrating to me because I managed to get like two things done in an hour. I want buttons. 
Oops. On these. I know I feel like this down here needs something. That has a button there. And I'll stitch around that one. I'm not going to play with that one. I just sort of feel like I need something going on on this one. Maybe. or something. Did that take it away from me? Yeah, maybe I'll just add that and be done with this. I don't know which way this goes. I don't think it really matters either. Cut that there. That'll end this misery. Lisa was does it for me. now. I wonder if I can and just move that down. All right, so I'm going to stop fussing with these. I am going to real quickly and put some thread through here and glue this button down on there. So I'm going to put these aside. Over here on my sewing machine. Needle up. Put this stuff aside. Okay, now I want to try to do my belly bands, which for some reason I find a little bit easier for me and I don't know why. They're the same things, right? The same things. I'm gonna to wait to put that on there because I Blue book. Move this up. I think I want color. And 
mix fabric and paper. And jelly bands. And these I will be stitching through. So I'm not real concerned about how secure you know the blue is because I am going to um, let's see let's put some more paper. my glue book. something up here in case things don't go all the way up there's something up at the top but it's going to be stitched around Isn't this technical? <laughs> yeah, I got that stuff going. Yeah, I should put that sideways if anything. Got too much going the same direction, I feel like. scissors. This looks like a whole hodgepodge of nothingness going on here. They're going the wrong way. I'm going through my little two tier basket here, is what I'm doing. And I'm off screen there. I know what I wanted to do. Failed. I'm going to add some of this ink. This is some of the quilt pieces from the quilt that I used on the cover that I've separated from um, the batting on the back. More of the quilt is what I would like. Put that lay 
face on there. I wish I would have waited. <clears throat> down here, even though I have that other fabric there. right apart. Just didn't like having that right down the center. And then I feel like a little bit of lace. The scraps that I have in here I'm not too crazy about even though I weeded through them. Not the same. All right, I'm satisfied with that one, and especially once it's stitched, I think it'll be fine. I might go back after it's stitched and add buttons and that type of thing. I'll lay that aside, and then I got this sideways belly band. Put that aside. Let's see what I want to do here. I'm sorry for being silent. You might be glad that I'm silent <laughs> instead of jibber jawing. I want to see if I have more of that quilt. I might put this aside. I want to incorporate some of the quilt scraps through the journal. I'm not going to do it on every single item, clearly, but I thought I would do it on the belly bands, um, maybe a couple tags, and I'm going to make some tabs, I think, for this journal. 
I sort of want this to go well maybe I need to add I have muslin Muslin. Yeah, I do have some muslin. Do I have any more of that? Maybe not. Trying not to think, guys. Fight me in the end. other pieces. I thought I had some eyelet in here. I don't, so I'll just use That'll be all right, and then once I stitch it, I'll know if I, looks like I need to, well, I'll wait till I stitch it. All right, what I'm going to do, oh my gosh, and I'm so sorry that I'm way off screen. I think, I have another... like I need something there. I put all that paper on there and then I covered the whole thing with fabric and lace. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna stitch all this stuff and I will come back and then we'll make decisions about um, buttons or whatever else may be needed. See you shortly. Okay, I am back, and this is what I have come up with. I stitched around this one, and since I've stitched and inked, I feel okay with this as a side tuck. And if I decide as I'm assembling the journal that, you know, I need something more, then I'll add something more. 
but I'm satisfied with this. I feel like it has enough on it. This is the other side tuck. The one thing I did with it when I was getting ready to stitch around it, I moved this flower from up here to down here. I added this piece of fabric and I've been looking at it. Um, I've inked and I sort of like this flower on it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and add that. Um, I think that'll go all right in the journal. And I don't know why, but I just like that flower on there. No reason other than that. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and add that. And I'm sorry if you can hear that. The lawn service, the neighbor's lawn service is out there, so they're making a lot of noise right now. Right when I turn on the camera. I'm guessing, I don't know which way this goes. I'm going to put it on that way. I don't think it really matters, does it? I feel like it goes this way. So I'm going to add that. Let that dry good. And those would be the two side tucks that I wanted for today. And then this is the belly band and this is the belly band. And right now I feel like um, I like them just because I love fabric. I'm going to leave them like this for now. I think when I put them in the book, if I want to add some more on top, I will. But for right now, I feel satisfied with where they are. I might add like a little safety pin and a button, something like that. Maybe a little bit of lace or something. But right now, I like the way they are. And I want to see once they're in the book, what, if anything, I want to add to them. So... I succeeded in making my two side tucks and my two belly bands that I wanted to get done. And I'm going to continue on. Um, I'm going to turn the camera off, but I'm going to continue on and make a few more elements um, so that hopefully I can have all the elements made. And tomorrow I can work on maybe ephemera for it. I have some ideas for ephemera that I want to put in it so maybe that's what I'll do tomorrow I'm not sure but um, that's what I'm thinking so thanks so much for joining I really do appreciate all the support that you all give me I, I truly do appreciate it and um, I hope that you have a great rest of your Monday and happy crafting everyone bye bye